This instructional video offers assembly directions for the economic low home care bed that is shipped disassembled on a storage aid. First, move the bed to the location where it will be used and remove the transport packaging. Activate the brakes by stepping on the lever located on the caster cover. Remove the side rails and trapeze pole from the storage aid. Remove the two halves of the reclining surface. Put the head side half of the reclining surface frame horizontally on the floor. The two sockets pointing upwards. Fold the backrest away from the bed frame. Now take the foot side half of the frame and place it on the other reclining surface frame. Fold the lying surface away from the bed frame. Loosen the four knurled screws. Insert the halves of the reclining surface frame into each other. Tighten the four knurled screws, two on each side. Connect the lift rod of the leg rest actuator to the leg rest reclining frame. For that, insert the cotter pin through the available hole on the frame and through the lift rod. Secure it by turning over the clamping yoke for safe use of the leg rest function. First, loosen the two knurled screws on the transport aid by the headboard, then the two knurled screws by the footboard. Use these screws to affix two at the head side on the reclining surface and then move to the foot side to affix the other two knurled screws. Place the combined reclining surface frame flat on the floor. Disengage the head and footboards, pulling it away from each other. Place the headboard one side for the time being. Remove the two transport aids from the footboard. Check decals on the frames of the head and footboards to match it up with the corresponding decals at the head and foot sides on the reclining surface frame. Line up the headboard by the head side. Join the head side end board together with the reclining surface. Lift the reclining surface frame at the head side and push the two support brackets from the head section end board into the tubes of the reclining surface frame to the limit. There should only be a 5 mm gap between the reclining surface frame and the corner post. Tighten the four knurled screws. Repeat this process at the foot section end board as well. Connect the high-low actuator cables from both the head and foot sides to the control box located underneath the lying surface. Connect the bed directly to a wall outlet. To mount the side rails, the reclining surface frame must be set to the middle position. You will find a guide bar for the side rails on the left and right side of the end boards. Look for the four metal pins inside the guide rail to hook the pins into the oblong holes on the face of the four side rail beams. Draw the two parts of the plastic slide through the long metal strip. Position the metal strip securely around the parts to ensure smooth operation of the side rails. Begin at the head side end board. Loosen the knurled screw on the bottom end of the guide track and insert the plastic slide from below. The release lever must be pointing up. In order to prevent the plastic slide from falling out of the guide track, reinsert and tighten the knurled screw. Insert another plastic slide into the opposite side of the same end board. Pull the top end of each plastic slide up at the head section until it locks into place. Now place side rail onto the top pair of the metal pins on the head section end board and let the other end of the side rail lie on the floor. Now place the other side rail onto the bottom pair of the metal pins and let the other end of the side rail rest on the floor. Repeat the same procedure on the other side of the head section end board. Then move to the foot section end board. 
Loosen the knurled screw on the bottom end of the guide track and insert both plastic slides from below. The release lever must be pointing up. As the plastic slide is being inserted, put the top pair metal pins into the upper side rail at the same time. Place the bottom pairs of the metal pins into the lower side rail. In order to prevent the plastic slide from falling out, reinsert and tighten the knurled screw. Repeat the process on the other side of the foot side end board. Check the distance between the beam and the guide track. It should not be greater than 8 mm. After successful assembly by following these steps, clean and disinfect the bed before first time use. Stiegelmeier Assist Call Center is available 24 hours, 7 days a week on 0861 111112 should you need technical assistance.